There is no shift in my commitment, the commitment to the security of Israel, period. No shift, not at all. But I tell you what there is a shift in. The shift is that we have to — we still need a two-state solution. It is the only answer, the only answer. And what I'm convinced of is that we can now move, as I had did even before I was able to negotiate — well, I shouldn't — before the ceasefire was negotiated, that I made it clear that I spoke with President Abbas. We were — we're going to make sure that we are going to provide for security in the West Bank, and we, we renewed the security commitment, as well as economic commitment to the people on the West Bank. I also indicated to the Israelis that I thought it was very important that they stop in Jerusalem this intercommunal fighting that is by extremes on both sides. It has to end. It has to end. And I'm prepared to put together and I'm going to attempt to put together a major package with uh, other nations who share our view to rebuild the homes and without re-engaging, without providing Hamas the opportunity to rebuild our weapon systems, rebuild the, uh, the, the Gaza, uh, re, 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 rebuild Gaza. And they need the help, and I'm committed to get that done. And so uh, I don't uh, — and I think that, you know, my party still supports Israel. Let's get something straight here. Until the region says unequivocally they acknowledge the right of Israel to exist as an independent Jewish state, there will be no peace. One of the reasons why we're able to get the ceasefire in 11 days, they didn't do what other people have done. I don't talk about what I tell people in private. I don't talk about what we negotiate in private. But I can assure you, though, is that the last time, it took 56 days and then six months to get a ceasefire. I'm praying this ceasefire will hold. I take Bibi Netanyahu when he gives me his word. I take him at his word. He's never broken his word to me. And uh, — but what I've made clear is that it's essential. It's essential that the Palestinians in — on the West Bank be secured, that Abbas be recognized as the leader of the Palestinian people, which he is. Hamas is a terrorist organization. We've recognized it that. But that doesn't mean we should not be in Gaza, rebuilding Gaza for all those innocent people who, in fact, have been hurt and, and have been collateral damage, including loss of homes and a whole range of other things, as well as insisting that Israeli citizens, whether they be Arab or Jew, are treated equally. Israeli citizens. And that's what was going on in, in, uh, um, in, in Jerusalem. And so that has to come to an end. And Bibi, no the Prime Minister, knows my views. And uh, — but the commitment that was given had, was immediately kept. I — from the very beginning, I told him what our objective was, that there needed to be a ceasefire. And he, in fact, kept his commitment in the time frame in which he said he would do it. Thank you.